I think your kids will really like this geography curriculum. It's engaging, hands-on, and a great introduction to independent work, which is one of the things I really love about it. And today I'm gonna to show you how I pieced it together and how we use it. Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanne, if you're new here. I'm so glad you're here because on this channel, we talk about making your home on the road and everything that goes with that. Cleaning, organizing, cooking, travel, of course, our adventures, all of it. So there's four pieces to this curriculum that I put together. There's a map, a uh, 50 states activity book and then a 50 states notebook and then the song you remember the song 50 nifty united states wait is that it or is it alaska arizona arkansas whatever that song another thing that has been really helpful is shepherdsoftware.com it's a free resource cami plays all the games um, they have a ton of games and quizzes and they also have world geography and a bunch of other different things so i'll just show you a couple of the games really quick and you can go in and just start clicking around and see what they have so to start an order you click usa and the first game is very simple you just click on all the states and it tells you each state name. Colorado. Michigan. Texas. And on the second game, they prompt you to click a state that they name. So in this case, the first state they name is Vermont. Vermont. New Hampshire. Connecticut. And then if you click on the wrong state... Oops. If you click on the wrong state again, it will give a hint by highlighting the correct state. Once you complete a region, it gives you another region. West Virginia. I found this foam puzzle map on Amazon. And by the way, I will leave links to everything down below in the description. So Cami starts off by adding a new state to the puzzle map. So whichever state we're working on, in this case, it's Illinois and each state is labeled so she can easily read to find the state piece but even if your kid isn't at that reading level yet they can find the state by the shape on the puzzle once she finds her state we secure it to the map with these little velcro circles that we picked up at dollar tree each state has a little plastic flag that inserts into the puzzle piece right on the capital location she puts on the state capital sticker and then the other side of the flag has a landmark or something associated with that particular state. This whole process really helps her to retain the information. And also don't forget to teach a compass rose. I'll leave a link in the description for a free printable that your kids can fill out and color. I found this activity book on Amazon also. Um, there are two activities for each state. All of them are different. Sometimes it's a word search or a crossword puzzle, and sometimes it's just interesting reading. This is probably my favorite part. I ordered this 50 states notebook from the Crafty Classroom. It's a digital product that you print out and then put in a three ring binder. Each state has a worksheet with the flag, state shape, state bird and state flower to color in. She colors the state in on the US map and also adds the capital. You can even have them map rivers, lakes, and mountains. Um, she uses my phone to research the abbreviation, state number, and the nickname, and then a fact about the state that she finds interesting. And usually it's the state animal. Since we travel full time, I thought that it would be cool if I put a piece of construction paper on the back side with like a picture of her in that state and then she could add a journal entry of her favorite memory or something like that. I use this folder to keep what she's currently working on and we do geography once a week, sometimes twice if she needs to finish up on a state. On your screen, there are two more videos, one that YouTube thinks you'll like and one that I think you'll be interested in. So check those out and we'll see you next time.